When I think about love in the context of marriage, it is uh, more than a feeling and even more than a commitment, but just uh, the alignment of goals and the uniting of two individuals uh, into one, to be able to uh, complement each other in different ways and to be uh, more rounded as a team uh, to achieve different goals that God has set apart for us. I desire to show love by being sacrificial and serving your spouse and um, really allowing God to be at the center of your relationship so that you know when you want to be selfish or when you um, want to get your own way you're thinking about how is this going to reflect on Christ and how is our relationship reflecting on Christ and I think that with that as the center then you know you're really able to have a perfect love as opposed to just a human love which is limited. I believe the purpose of marriage is uh, for God to unite two people together uh, whereby we cover each other's weaknesses and play off each other's strengths so that uh, as together as a, a unit we'll be able to be able to uh, be better equipped uh, to, to fulfill a greater purpose for God. I was on the deal loss from July 2009 to September 2009 um, and Rachel was on board at the same time for a year um, for her program. So we worked in the same department, uh, the book X, on shift two. So we were in the same working department and uh, we got to know each other really well there. We didn't talk very much at first. He was pretty shy and so I think one of our first encounters was when we went to paint a hospital in Cambodia and we were kind of assigned to the same room, painting the same room. And so I was kind of trying to get him to break out of his shell a little bit. And so I think some paint got more on him than on the walls. But we had a good time. And I think that was one of the first times that we really spent time together and got to know each other. We were friends for a while before we started dating. Honestly, I had prayed for a long time that God would have me be with someone who we were friends first and had a really good foundation of friendship. Rachel completes me in the sense that um, she's a lot of things that I'm not. She's more spontaneous, she's more outspoken, uh, she's more adventurous, where I, I can be a bit more reserved, a bit more uh, meticulous, a little bit more cautious. So she's the one that will be able to challenge me, push me. I love that I'm marrying my best friend. I'm really excited about being able to walk down the aisle towards him and, and know that that's my forever. Indeed, she is uh, the greatest blessing from God. We never thought that we would be together, um, but seeing how God has placed us so uh, wonderfully together from the ship to uh, shift to in Dulos, um, to Tinikling, to after that even growing that relationship, uh, I know that it is God's plan that, that He has united us and uh, we just are excited. And I think you should always remember that it is God who first brought us together. This is a special day for everyone here. Today we get a chance to celebrate the beginning of a marriage relationship between Clarence Wong and Rachel Hampton. When I say I love you, I'm not just making you my wife. I'm making you my best friend, my trusted companion, and my greatest pride. When I say I love you, I'm not admitting that I know all the answers, but I'm hoping that together we'll ask all the right questions. When I say I love you, it's not just based on a feeling inside me that may come and go, but is a choice I will make every day as we face the ups and downs of married life. When I say I love you, I'm not imposing my life on yours, but humbly taking up the leadership as the head of the household to comfort you in sadness, to nurse you in sickness, and to provide for all your needs. When I say I love you, I don't want them to ever become empty words. I want them to be reflected in my actions as I daily strive to understand your innermost thoughts and desires as my husband and do my best to be everything that you ever need in a wife. Rachel Hampton, you are the love of my life. Clarence Wong, you are the love of my life and more than I could have ever dreamed for. You showed me how it feels to be loved, challenged, tested and treasured when I'm with you. You are the answered prayer for the perfect partner. 
The 10 months of separation were made so much easier by your patient and loving actions towards me. And I look forward to never being separated again in this life or the next. So just know that when I say I love you, I love you. So when I say I love you, I love you. Well, it is my honor to now pronounce you husband and wife. Clarence, lay one on my sister. <laughs> You may kiss your brother. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Clarence.